Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brown Dust video. Alright, so we're gonna proceed first with the analysis of the new mercenaries. But first, let's roll the dice. Five, what do I get? One, two, three, four. Ah, man. Goal. Of course, of all the things, I get goal. Alright, so we have this new um, introduction of the Iron Ladies update today. Wilhelmina. Laura and Charlotte. So let's check them out individually. I'm gonna start off with Charlotte first because I'm kind of interested in her. I have no idea what she is all about. So apparently Charlotte is a magician, a four-star magician. So let's have a look at what she is all about. Ew! Messy hair and she's holding up a skull. Not sure if she's exactly waifu but all right. Interesting. Wait, is that a plant? Growing from the skull? Uh, <laughs> interesting. Hopefully that's not like someone that she loves, you know, she just hold onto the skull for eternity or something like that. Alright, let's have a look at the stats. Pretty good stats. Moderate attack. Slightly low HP. The HP is extremely low actually. Um, so crit rate, crit damage, pretty average, 0% uh, defense and edgy. Not sure I like her stats though, so very low stats overall. So let's have a look at the skills. What is she all about? So first up, enjoying the range a lot. So this is a far rare. So all the way at the back, similar to I. If you guys have I, so she's going to act similarly. So curse, all right. So stats weakening, love it. Minus 40%. This is good in the Novice Arena. If, because Novice Arena, I don't think People usually go for stats weakening immunity, so most of the time this is pretty good right there. And then you have the healing prohibition, similar to Denarisa's skill as well. Six turns, uh, pretty okay. Six turns, I hope that number of turns will increase the moment you increase the skill level as well. And lastly, we have the burn damage. Alright, so deals burn damage every turn. Attack every turn times 5% burn damage. So I'm guessing you want to use her more like a... Not a, safe, not a DPS at all because just that burn, don't think that's gonna deal much. So ideally, removes already applied reflective counter. So you wanna use her in, she's good in world boss for sure. Uh, but if you plan to use her in Novice Arena, I do think it's going to work as a good counter against hell. So if you guys are struggling against hell, I believe this skill is extremely good. Removes already applied. Um, Reflective counter skill type. So how about this? 60%, 80%. That is a lot of stats weakening. 80%. Wow. Oh, and you remove the stats enhancement skill type as well. So that makes it a better counter for hell even. And since she is a magician, if you let, uh, if you like position her correctly, you might be able to counter quite a number of hells. So. Remove stats enhancements. I believe this will remove the bonus uh, stats that Hell receives after she attacks. So that's pretty cool. And then of course the healing prohibition does increase to 12 turns. Very cool. At plus 9, you get the bonus range. Extremely awesome if you have this kind of range. So she's going to be useful in certain PvE stages as well. And I believe in the Evil Castle, you definitely could use her as well. And then we have the Advanced Curse. Very cool. Uh, healing Prohibition, Advanced Burn, 25% burn damage, uh, Incoming damage plus 35% as well. So yeah, she's not like, not gonna be like game changing, game breaking. Of obviously in Novi's Arena, like no one can triumph Hell. But if you do intend to use her as a Hell counter, I do believe it will work. You know what? I might try it out once I have her at plus nine, but currently I do not. So just gonna stick with my my own hell <laughs> as a counter to enemies hell for now. All right, so moving on, let's check out the other two mercenaries. Okay, so will hell Mina. So long awaited, now she's finally here. Now we can check out her skills. So what is she all about? Let's have a look. So first skill, obviously triple attack, attack three times, but we reduce attack, all right? So this skill can be good, can be bad, depending on how you look at it. The good thing is, uh, usually skills like this is a good counter to Lucius, Death Guard Heroes. Bad thing is, if you hit someone with Masochism, uh, something like uh, Olivia, Ser, 
it's going to heal them if you don't buff her enough so you want to keep that in mind so you make sure you want to like double buff her at least all right and then we have the defense bash so this particular skill right here this skill is what makes her the queen of all warriors right now all right so ignores enemies defense and deals additional damage so that means she will ignore your defense even if you have 100% so goodbye Lillian, goodbye Arkhan, goodbye everyone that uses shield runes <laughs> so perfect counter attack times 30% not too broken yet at level 0 so unable to receive healing skill type hmm alright so not sure how this will work unable to receive healing skill type so this will counter the masochism perhaps so sounds like a good skill to have 12 turns Okay, so she does have the counter right there. And then edgy before battle, times 50% boost crit rate. Pretty good, pretty good. And we have the immune to debuff skill type. Before normal attack, 8 turns. Ugh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Why can't they just give her permanent debuff immunity? Why is it like before normal attack? Oh man, that's such a bummer. Like lots of heroes have permanent debuff immunity. Battery has it. Immune to debuff skill type before battle. I mean, even Heijin has it. Oh, Heijin is 18 turns before normal attack. All right. Even I has it. I has this immune to debuff. So why can't they give Wilhelmina an immune to debuff permanent? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe that will make her too broken because she's already pretty broken right now. So eight turns before normal attack. Gotta keep that in mind. I think that's similar to Sayer's one, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check out Sayer. Debuff 12 turns before normal attack. So Sayer has debuff immunity 12 turns before normal attacks. Wilhelmina has 8 turns before normal attack. So she's not as broken. Uh, I wouldn't count on the debuff immunity to overall protect her from stats weakening and things like that. So occasionally she might be struck with those uh, like advanced curse counter and things like that. So gotta keep that in mind. Alright, so plus 1. This one increase. 50%. Alright, at plus 3 you get the bonus. 50% boost crit rate. 100% boost... Wow, that's a lot. 150%. That is a lot of boost crit rate. Wow, the insane amount of boost crit rate. 100% means she will get 20 crit rate. 150% she will get 30. So that's granted that she has 20% of edgy, uh, which she has at the as her base stats unless you give her more edgy so that's going to help her out even more she ideally might not even need a fatal rune like based on what I'm seeing right now just grab any runes that gives edgy right and she will benefit from it like look at that that's a lot 150% plus crit damage as well wow this is similar to Jin's skill I believe permanent advanced adroitness Awesome, so she gets all the way up to 150% boost crit rate and 75% crit damage. That is insane. Insane. 65%, 80%. Alright, so at plus 9, uh, the first skill just reduced slightly. So I do think that if you really want to use her in the arena, in the PvP, depending on what league you are on, if you want her to be like usable, I would say plus 6. That's when you get the bonus crit damage. Uh, if you do have like decent supporters on your side buffing her with crit rate and she has some runes with edgy substat as well, that's going to help her out with the 100% agility for sure. She only has 100%, uh, only has 10% crit rate, so not too high. Her attack is slightly on the lower side, I think. Or maybe that's average, that's about average, I think. Let's compare to Foxy. 615 and 1600 yeah foxy has the exact same amount of attack but foxy has more hp though so that is something to keep in mind i guess and foxy has more crit rate as well wow so she's really losing in the stats department most of the time but her ability to ignore defense and basically just healing prohibition any opponent that she encounters that's going to put her like way way on top she might actually be the best warrior right now we'll have to see because of how the meta is towards uh mercenary units that has all this healing stuff masochism and 100 percent defense so she's a great counter right now definitely a good warrior to have for sure 
So in terms of runes, I'm not sure. Most likely you can go for one assault and one rage if you are able to get her crit rate up to 100% in the battle with all the buffs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can because make sure to have a substat of 8% agi so that way you'll be able to benefit from the bonus crit rate from the permanent adroit nurse. Okay, so that's my thoughts on Wilhelmina. Alright, so next up, let's have a look at Laura. Alright, first thing that I notice, damn, 40% agi. <laughs> Alright, 40% agi. HP is about average, of course, a 0% everywhere else. I wish she has some defense, you know, like, alright, so she's quite squishy, but let's have a look at what she is all about. Okay, so line supporter, good replacement to Vincent, I guess. So support times 50% reduced incoming damage. Okay. So counter attack with shock effect. Alright, so it will give allies the barrier for 12 turns. And that will basically, anyone that hits them will get shock. Basically, their attack times 20% shock damage. So the stronger they are, the more shock damage they will receive. Wow! <laughs> it's just a, a plain thorn right there. A barrier of thorns. Basically, whoever that attacks your, your allies, this is so broken. This is so broken. Imagine giving Lucius this buff right here. You include Lucius in that buff. That's going to be insane. Can you include Lillian in the buff? I have no idea, but very interesting skill to have. So crit damage, just straight up crit damage and attack boost as well. So why does she only have 4 tiles? Maybe she gets more at... Oh, at plus 9, you get the bonus range. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 tiles. So that is insane. So support times 20% reduces incoming damage with enemies attack times 30% shock damage. Very good. This is a very good skill to have. If you don't have attack interference immunity, Laura is going to wreck your team. So beware. Alright, so of course... 50% crit damage that is extremely high it might be the highest I've ever seen in a while alright 50% and lastly 30% boost attack alright I do like the attack I do like the crit damage but god damn it why is there no crit rate alright using her is going to be like extremely difficult uh, how do you combo this if you have Walia how, how do you like place her right it's it's so difficult because they are both the frontliners so unless you are going to miss out someone like maybe you use her first you put Livia on the most front and then Livia buffs and then the next attacker that Walia will buff is next is behind Livia but I don't know the lack of crit rate is sort of turning me off it's sort of turning me off crit damage is good definitely very good to have uh, attack Obviously you want to have that, but no crit percentage chance, no, ugh, that's what you really need, especially on uh, someone like me who plans to use Asmode, not sure if she's going to fit the team well compared to someone like Mary, you know, but I do like the Awakening skill though, removes debuff skill type, purification, we don't have enough mercenaries with this particular skill, so this removes every single debuff skill type except for Stigma, alright? So we're talking about stats weakening, uh, remove stats weakening. We're talking about removing uh, DOT, I believe, and removing the attack interference as well. So it's a cool skill to have, but but the problem is she is not immune to any of those. So that's the problem right there. At least with someone like Venaka. Uh, all right, so we have Venaka right here. Venaka is immune to attack interference skill type. She cannot receive stun. She cannot be frozen. She cannot receive. Uh, anything related to attack interference like shock and things like that so that's cool so that means that she won't be affected by any of the attack interference and she will help to remove attack interference on allies it makes sense right but for Laura it's gonna depend on your positioning a lot she's not immune to any of those so if she gets stunned she won't be able to use this skill she won't be able to buff it at all so this is not immunity this is removes removal so you want her to constantly be active every single turn to remove those uh, debuffs, right? And if she's affected by attack interference, especially charm, stun, or perhaps freeze, 
uh, you're not going to have a good time using her at all. So I can see in certain areas Venaka is going to be still the better one unless you are aware of the positioning and she's going to be good in a lot of areas. Underground arena, maybe guild wars as well. But in terms of the arena strictly, maybe not the top but I do think she's going to be like maybe top 10 but not like the top 5 uh, supporter or anything like that. That's just my opinion. But yeah, as always, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to end this video now. We're going to proceed with a bunch of polls in the next video. So stay tuned on that. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.